Morning everyone. This is the key to this 2015 Chevy Cruze. And I do apologize for the background noise. They're having a little bit of they're having a little bit of fun over there doing an autocross event over at the mall here. I was actually watching it a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but this is a 2015 Chevy Cruze, and this isn't an ordinary Chevy Cruze. This is uh, the two-liter turbocharged diesel four-cylinder. Uh, for a good friend of mine traded this in and figured it would be a good opportunity to take a look at one of these because I've actually never seen a first-gen diesel cruise before. So we're going to take a look at this thing. Unlock it. Man, they're ripping, having a good ripping around time over there. It's a pretty good-sized trunk. I'm going to open this up. That's where your def tank fill is for your diesel exhaust fluid. And then... You can see you got your tank in there, just wanted to show you that. No spare because of the def tank, unfortunately. I'm gonna go around, sit in the back seat here. Now what is nice about, what is nice about the uh, diesel cruise is it's actually equipped pretty much like an LTZ, uh, which is like their fully loaded top of the line trim level. Uh, you got leather seats, you got remote start, you have a heated seats. Uh, you got your bigger screen there, sunroof. Uh, this thing's pretty much fully loaded uh, with the diesel engine trim. It's not even really, there's not even really a trim for this. There's no LT, LTZ, anything like that. It's just the cruise diesel. Uh, and it gives you all this equipment, which is really awesome. It's nice. It's an old Subaru Legacy. Don't see those around either. Go ahead and pop the hood here. So like I said, you got a two liter turbo diesel four cylinder engine, has 151 horsepower, 264 pound feet of torque. So it's a pretty torquey thing. Uh, it's powered by a six speed automatic. Man, how's the six? And then uh, the fuel economy is really, really good. Uh, 27 miles per gallon in the city and 46 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you want something fuel efficient, this is definitely a car you want to consider. The price of diesel is a little bit higher. Right now around my area, it's about $4.99 a gallon. However, you get a lot more out of it. So we're going to hop inside here. Start her up. Got that diesel rumble on startup. But yeah, like I said, I mean, you have you have single zone climate, but you do have heated seats on both sides. You have your bigger screen here with Sirius XM capability. There. Got your sunroof here. That that opens up. your glove box in here good bit of room left all the manuals a little tiny tiny little console right there with a USB and an auxiliary you do also have a pioneer sound system in here here too which is their premium sound system at the time I'm gonna go ahead and put my belt on got your cruise control on this side your scroller for looking through the menu in the middle here, all your fuel economy, how many miles till you're empty, that kind of thing. Oop, I'll switch to the speed. Uh, Bluetooth, of course, you have your radio volume and change the channel here, and then you can pick up and answer the, the phone on with these buttons here. Got your wipers. Trunk button's right there, that's kind of quirky, usually it's somewhere down here. Uh, power seat on this side, there is a manual seat on this side but that's what you would normally get in an LTZ anyway. Uh, so we're gonna take this thing for a ride. I'm super, super excited, so let's get right to it. Yep, it's got park sensors, you can hear those. Now it does not have a ton of power, like I said, but this thing has a ton of torque. So it more than makes up for it. 
think torque's more important than horsepower anyway. I'm gonna have to go back and watch a little more of that autocross event they got going on there. Sometimes I would do that because this is at the local mall where, around where I live. Every once in a while I'll sign up and do something. Back when I had a WRX I did it a few times. I haven't done it with my Cobalt yet so I thought that might be fun to do but obviously it was too, it's too late to register now but there's always one in the springtime here as well so that'll be fun. Go back and watch a little more of that later. So super quiet, super smooth. You can feel it, you can definitely feel it shifting. Uh, however, that might just be how the diesel acts. I, I'm not quite sure there. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. So zero issues coming up that steep hill. The amount of torque in this engine had no problems whatsoever. Very effortless, barely had to step on the gas at all. Let me go around the corners here, see how the suspension handles. Feels pretty planted, takes turns well. Gets on the gas pretty good. Diesel, I should say. Leather seats are very comfortable. Turns right in. Pickup is super smooth, and it gets there pretty quick too. I barely had to press the gas pedal. Overall, super impressed so far. This might even be a video vehicle I would consider buying. It's rated at 47 on the highway, but he did say he's gotten it around 50 on long highway trips, 50, 51. And I mean, it's got 94,000 miles, so for like for a vehicle that goes for 10, 11 thousand dollars nowadays, I mean, that's that's pretty good for the fuel economy you're getting. You're paying more for the fuel, but you're getting a lot more out of it, like I had mentioned before. So very, very impressive.
All right, so let's see how this torquey little thing performs on the highway. I have pretty high hopes for it. 264 pound-feet of torque in a cruise. That's amazing. All right, here we go. Wow, I just put my head back a little bit. Zero issues. And you might think I'm being a little on the dramatic side. Like, oh, this, this car only has 151 horsepower. I can't put your head back in the seat that bad. But, I mean, it's got almost double the torque as it does power. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. Test out the backup camera here. It's got the sensors. A bit foggy, I mean, it is older, but it still works. Oh, yeah. Does a good job yelling at you. Okay. Well, I am super impressed. I really liked how it handled, really liked how it performed, definitely exceeded the expectations that I had for it. I was already excited going into this, but now I actually may have found a vehicle that I might be interested in purchasing, if uh, you know, maybe in the future. Uh, if you don't really care about the cost of uh, diesel right now, uh, the fuel economy more than makes up for it. Uh, definitely gets you from point A to point B, and like I said, for a car that in this condition costs about I'd probably say, I, I want to say this is listed around $11,000, somewhere in that area. Uh, it, it, for the fuel economy, it's absolutely fantastic. So I really hope you guys do uh, enjoy these videos that I put out. And again, as always, I do really want to thank Blaze Alexander Chevrolet in Muncie, Pennsylvania for allowing me to take their inventory around and, and talk about them. So thank you guys very much, and I will see you, as always, in the next one.